This is power, class and elegance. The Justin Snaith trained filly double Grand Slam came out firing in KZN when winning the Grade 3 Amzankulu Stakes. Double Grand Slam has landed by five. Just one month after she won the Grade 3 Splash Out Prix du Cup at the end of February at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. Double Grand Slam has smacked them out the park and that was very impressive. Unlike some of her stable mates who have needed their first run in the province, Double Grand Slam hasn't missed a beat. In fact, she's kept on improving. She's the clear favourite for the World Sports Betting Phillies Guineas at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Saturday. Double Grand Slam is doing well at home. I do expect a big run from her. She would have come on from her last start. Richard Faria will be in the tell tomorrow to give her her final workout. And on that, if that all goes well, I do think she'll be one of the better horses on the day. We take a look at Double Grand Slam's last three runs, starting with her impressive finish behind Princess Kala in the Grade 1 City of Cape Town, Mallorca Stakes. And here comes Princess Kala. She found the outside rail. She gets Sierra. She gets the parity. Then came Double Grand Slam. But it's Princess Kala. It's her show with 100 metres left to go. Princess Kala kicked two lengths in front. Raskova second. But this is the reigning horse of the year. Princess Kala, another grade one, ticked off the list. Princess Kala beat Raskova. Double Grand Slam was third. The Glenn Cotson trained Raskova, who also takes her place in the World Sports Betting Phillies Guineas, crossed the line a nose ahead of Double Grand Slam that day. But Justin Snaith's filly had her measure in their next two starts. Double Grand Slam is quick to build up with Grand Fenikirk. Enemy territory. October Morn still travels kindly. Mrs. Geriatrix is starting up those engines and still five lanes off them. Double Grand Slam. Double Grand Slam has burst into the lead and gone two lanes clear. Raskova's flat to the boards, but Double Grand Slam has smacked them out the park, and that was very impressive. October Morn has run second. Raskova's in third, and Mrs. Geriatrix in you know, the way she won today was super impressive, but we always heard Ali over. I promised the player before that he's got a very good feeling in his hands, and hopefully she sees it through, and we've got a long Durban season ahead of us, and um, I, think, I think the horses will do very well there. 4.50 to go. Double Grand Slam's been hooked to the extreme outside and asked to fetch. Raskova at the 300 by a length and a half. Sovereign Grant's running a race and Double Grand Slam showcasing her ability now. This is power, class and elegance. You can clear the runway because Double Grand Slam has landed by five. This is a proper filly, believe me. You know, she surprised me when I, when I pulled out top of the straight and I shook up. Uh, it was instant turn of foot and, yeah, just had to guide it to the line. Well, this is what we expected today. Double Grand Slam. She's shown that she's got a wing on every hoop. The Mike de Kock trained White Pearl ran one and a quarter lengths third to Mrs. Browning in the grade two tab Camellia Stakes at Turfentine a week ago. White Pearl ran into third, then one. If Pearl. any trainer can back them up so quickly, it's Mike de Kock, as he's done it before. White Pearl has been knocking on the door for a big win, having found the frame in six graded races to date. If you fancy White Pearl, then let's go now from Sean Terry's yard, beat White Pearl to the line in the Grade 3 Mother Russia Stakes, over 1,400 metres in January. Let's go now, got up, beat White Pearl into second. The filly then lined up in all three legs of the Volkerbosdrift Triple Tiara. She found the frame in the first two behind racing sensation, give me another. Second Silver Sanctuary, my soulmate third, let's go now. Give me another, she's supreme, she's sublime, she's a superstar. Give me another, we'll beat home stable companion in second silver sanctuary. Let's go now, then came... Bem Before the distance in the Wilkobosdrift SA Oaks, arguably caught her out. Let's go now, had a tough race in the uh, Oaks. I think she was stretched at the distance and she reverts back to a distance that she is more comfortable over. She's drawn well, her preparation has gone well. Even though they look like one or two tough nuts to, to crack in this field, she will be competitive. Interestingly, none of the fillies who finished ahead of her in the Wilkobosdrift Triple Tiara line up in the World Sports Betting Fillies Guineas. T. 
10 fillies go to post in the Grade 2 World Sports Betting Fillies Guineas. It's carded as race 7 and due off at 14.47. We have left off from the 2,200 meter marker. 